People are going to tell you all kind of things in life because they don't understand what God is telling you. They don't understand God's plan for you. All they understand is how things look to them. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and that's one thing that we need to grab hold of is what God is saying to us. Stop trying to judge and point fingers at the next person. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and when I say judge, I'm not saying that there's a right and wrong time to judge. Some people don't know when to judge. Some people don't know what to say. They think God is saying certain things to them about somebody else, and he's probably not. Everybody that I know was telling me, hey, man, quit your job. You know what I'm saying? Quit what you're doing and come come to uh, Austin and be, uh, you know what I'm saying, find a local job. Find a job where you're home every day so that you can be home with your children. You know what I'm saying? And me, I see so many fathers, so many fathers that are at home every day with their children. But their children are barely making it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that hurts my heart for me to sit, see my child every day and they barely got food on the table. Having to borrow money from the government or probably ain't even got that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want that for my children. You know what I'm saying? So I took a step out on faith. Like, you go back and look in, 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 in old times when the men were always away from the house. You feel what I'm saying? The mothers were the ones that were at the house taking care of the children, raising the children. You feel what I'm saying? The man was the one that went out and, 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 and did what he had to do to make sure that the house was taken care of. You feel what I'm saying? Financially, right? So now, of course, things have changed. Women are holding up the households because now it's more women out here getting degrees in the education than it is men. We don't have men out here doing that. Men still want to run the streets and be thugs and whatnot. You feel what I'm saying? Want to be cool and want to hang out and turn up. Like, come on, it's time to grow up, man. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like me, I wasn't one of the followers. I was one of those that listened to grandma, stop running them streets, you know what I'm saying? And took grandma's advice and actually did something with myself not saying I have a degree yet, you feel what I'm saying, but I do want to get one, you feel what I'm saying, and I just, man, it just hurts to see my child not having everything that I wanted, you feel what I'm saying, yes, I did want a father in my life, I never had my real father in my life, I did want that, so yes, I can understand why mothers are so hard on the issue, you know what I'm saying, when when they want the father to be there. But the crazy thing is, when the father is there, they're nagging and complaining about little bitty things. It's like you don't want them there, but you do want them there. You don't want them there because you're 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 nagging about these little things when he's there, right? that are out of his control at the moment. And then when he says, all right, you want me to go out and make money? You want me to do this? You want the, you, you want to have this? The child, you want the child to have that? I need this. You know what I'm saying? So the man goes out and does what he has to do to be financially, uh, to, to take care financially. And then when he gets out there, they complaining about that. Oh, you ain't never home. This is it. You ain't, you're like, come on, man. Like, it's like, Sometimes, think about college. Nobody wants to go to school for, for, for four years, six years, eight years to get a degree, right? But we make that sacrifice because we know that in the end, we're going to come out on top. Right now, I'm at the verge of losing everything. And it's crazy because I worked so hard to get to this point. You feel what I'm saying? My career... People don't know what I went through for my career. I did so much to get to where I am in my career field. And then everybody's like, you need to do something. You need to be home with your kids. 
Like, what people fail to realize is I'm still climbing the ladder. And when I finally get to the point that I want to get to, I can be with my child every day. But everybody sees things the way they see them. And everybody wants things in their timing. You feel what I'm saying? You can't, you're on the outside looking in. How can you sit up and talk about what, what I need to do with my life, but you ain't walked a day in my shoes? You feel what I'm saying? You, you don't know what it takes to get to where I'm trying to get to, what, what God has planned for me. You feel what I'm saying? Every, no, the crazy thing is nobody, majority of the people that are pointing fingers at me telling me I need to do this and I need to do that will not take my advice on things that they need to do. You feel what I'm saying? Because they feel like they know what they need to do or they have it all figured out. You got your plan. You know what God is telling you. But for some reason, you're trying to sit up and tell me what God is telling me. No, that's what you're telling me. You feel what I'm saying? Now, there's other things like relationship-wise or whatever. The only person I'm probably going to gonna change something for is the person that I'm married to. You feel what I'm saying? If I'm not married to you, then I could care less about giving up everything for you. Because I've done that so many times in my life. I've given up everything. For, for, for a woman And guess what When you give up everything for that woman And then you lose everything Because they told you to do something a certain way They go off with the next man And they still got all their money in their account See the way I was raised up The man was supposed to make that sacrifice You never supposed to let your woman Go underwater So like what I'm saying is When it comes financially or credit wise You should never the man should always take the hit financially. Like his bank account should take the hit. His um, his credit should take the hit. That way, y'all still have one income or one credit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? One credit score to be able to make it off of. Let your woman, you know what I'm saying, hold that value, and the woman should honor you and respect you because, like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're willing to. You know what I'm saying? Spend all your money so we can go do this, this, and this. And I can keep my money in my pocket. You're willing to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, credit-wise, if it's something that she wants, instead of her coming out of her own pocket, if you can do it, put it on your credit, put it on your credit. Unless she's just trying to build credit, then yeah, that's different. And she can take it. But that's, you know, it's just really messed up, man. Like, the way that it's, a, a woman has her plan. A woman is not gonna back down from her plan for a man. You feel what I'm saying? She's been trained and raised that way. A smart woman. You feel what I'm saying? So, but them same type of women expect the man to back down for for whatever their plan is. Like, that's not the way it works. The way that it works is, is you put y'all's two, you come to the table and you put y'all's two plans together. You look at your strengths and weaknesses and say, okay, you got a good plan. I see what you're working with. I, and I got a good plan on this end. I see, you know what I'm saying? We see what you're working with. And you take the strengths from both plans and that's how you work that out. But that's not people what people do. People don't want to uh, maneuver from their plan. That's you. How, how can you call yourself marriage material? That's not what marriage is about. It's like if I'm if I'm in a if I'm engaged or in a marriage, and and my wife says, "Hey, babe, um, you know we're married now. You know what I'm saying you said that when we get married, you know you would you would find a local job. Are you gonna do that? Bam. That man needs to start looking for that local job." It, you know what I'm saying? If if his finances are able to do so, if not, you know what I'm saying? Let her know what the plan is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still waiting on a job or, you know, I haven't. I need to pay this one last bill off or whatever. Then I can make that transition. Whatever the case may be. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, some of us, man, we just, we see things our way. You feel what I'm saying? And I think that that's not what marriage is about. It ain't what marriage is about. You know what I'm saying? It's not. 
And when are we going to realize that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long does it take before we realize that we don't know it all? You know what I'm saying? I don't know it all. I have to go, like, when I'm when I, in relationships, I have to oftentimes, it's, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. A lot of times I have to go to uh, the person I'm in a relationship with for advice. And a lot of women look at that as, well, I can't raise no boy or I shouldn't have to tell you that you should already know. Men, I don't, I don't care what man it is. Men don't know everything. And then some women say, well, you should already know that about a man. First off, there's men that were raised with mother and father that taught them things in life, whether it be financial or whatever. There's other men in life, like me, I didn't have my father coming up. I learned everything on my own. You feel what I'm saying? So the woman that, that I marry, she going to have to help me out in some things. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? My mother was a hardworking woman, and she didn't, she wasn't always able to sit up and, 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 and teach me certain things. I mean, look at my glass. I can't even afford glasses. That's how real it is out here. I can't even afford a haircut. And then people say that I splurge, and I, I, I splurge with my money because I buy uh, uh, this type of car. But I save money cutting by cut haircuts. You feel what I'm saying? I cut my own hair. I've been cutting my own hair for the longest because I want to save money. See, people look at me with their own lens. I save money, but I save money different ways. The way that y'all blow money or the ways that I save money. You feel what I'm saying? For a long time, I had the same freaking phone where everybody upgrading new phones every two years and whatnot. That's a waste of money. For the longest, man, I had a, a, a basic phone. And I kept that phone for probably eight years. Never upgraded. People are always going to have something to say. Because from their perspective, you're doing better than them in certain areas. And they, they the way they see it is, oh, you like to blow money. But then when they see you not, 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 not spending money on haircuts, they got something to say. Why you walk around here with your hair looking like that? Because I'm saving money. I wish people would stay in their own lane and stop trying to referee other people's path, God-given path, unless you are married to that person. It's only two people in this world. Or I shouldn't say two. But it's only my wife and my kids that I'm going to maneuver for. You feel what I'm saying? So if, you, if it ain't wife or kids, then it, what they're saying really doesn't matter. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like I say, it's people out there, a woman will date you. For years and years and years. She'll be engaged to you. For years and years. And, well, I ain't gonna say years and years. Months and months. Whatever. And when it come down to it, they are going to up and leave after you done sacrificed everything for them. You can sell your house. Because she talking about she got this master plan wrote out. Yeah, baby, we gonna move together. This, this, this. Look, until we get married, I ain't selling my house. That's why... A lot of women look at, you know what I'm saying? Why, why are men so they they look at older men like in their 50s or 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 really masculine men that got, you know what I'm saying, they got their stuff together and they wonder why those men don't bend like don't 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 bend or to, to their standard. That man going to hold his ground because holding his ground is what got him to where he was. You feel what I'm saying? And me, I'm the opposite. I've been one of those type of people that I always put my woman before myself. I always put my kids before myself. You feel what I'm saying? And that is, that's what people fail to realize. Like, I'm always looking out for that other person. Just like the Bible says. 
people don't know what real love is. And it's people like me, good men, just like it's good women, there's good men that get hurt because they put their heart out there. Street man, street dude ain't gonna put his heart out there. You feel? And that, but that's who all the women want. They want the thug dudes, the street dudes, because they look confident in what they're doing. They're confident in tricking off on women. They're confident in running the streets. They're confident in what they do. You feel what I'm saying? A man that got his stuff together ain't he, he? He's not. If he, if he, just like me, for example. I've lost everything time and time and time and time again behind putting other putting putting women first. Everything. Whenever I'm single, I do good by myself. Have my own nice car, have my own place, have everything going for myself. Studio, like everything, doing ministry work, everything going for myself. But then you get into a relationship with somebody and somebody want to sit up and talk about how you splurging and wasting money and doing this and doing that because you worked your way up to that point. You feel what I'm saying? 